Hi guys, in this video, I am going to talk about uh, some more functions, uh, especially about the print function in more detail. And we, we are going to see some special things about the print function. One of the thing is we have already seen is called a end, end parameter, right? So how do we define end of the line? And one more thing is a it is called a separator and one th method which is called a format thing, right? So we will see how we can use these to beautifully print our input and output. So let us get started with the code and we will see how we can work with the format method and how we can work with end and the separator parameters. Right? Okay, so suppose you want to again print hello uh, world, right? So you, you have a uh, list of strings hello world uh i am learning python or something like that yeah i love python so you have a comma separated list of strings and you want to print all these strings so let us see what is the output so you you will see that output is in a same line but you can specify that what should be the separator between these words right so maybe you can have a separator which is called a comma right so you will see the list is now separated with a comma and suppose you want to have a separator backslash n you will see all the words come in a new line or you can have a backslash double n so all the words are now separated with a two backslashes right so you will find one empty line between each word right so this is the use of a separator parameter this is a named parameter and you can specify any separator between these words maybe it can be a plus right so you will see hello plus world plus i plus love plus python right so this is one use case of using this separator keyword okay the next thing is the end keyword which we have already seen and let us see once again as well so suppose a is 10 and b is 20 and you want to print a and you want to print b so the output is in a different line but if you specify that the end of this line should be with the space you will see the output is in the same line or if the end is with a comma you will see the numbers are separated by a comma right so this is another use case where you can use a end function right and now we are going to learn about the format thing right suppose i have a which is equal to india and i have b which is equal to mango right so or let's say indians a is indians b is mangoes and i want to print something of a particular format right so print let's say here i will specify something right so here i will specify the indices of the arguments which i will i am giving to my format function right so suppose this index is 0 0 loves 1 right so we will see what it means and here we will call dot format method and here we will supply our parameters right so a and b so you will see that the zeroth argument is replaced by a which is indians and the first argument is replaced by b which is mangoes right so this method comes very handy when you are doing a lo lot of uh, stuff when you are printing uh, some data in machine learning maybe or you want to print uh, things in a similar format right suppose c is uh, russians and d is pizza right right and you can just call this method and you have to just change these values c and here you will do d so you will see sorry c is not defined now it is defined so you will see russians love pizza right so this print function behaves as a template right and one more thing about the print function is that it also supports c type printing what it means is you can have a print a percentage let's say uh, a is again 10 b is 20 and you want to print numbers right so suppose 
you entered a number a which is percentage d and b right so you entered these numbers and here you will give a comma and sorry here you will give a percentage and in the bracket you will specify what does these numbers mean right so percentage d and percentage d and here you will give a and b right so you entered 10 and 20 this is also a template kind of thing where the first percentage d will be replaced by the first integer and the second percentage d will be replaced by a second integer and if you want to have more you can have percentage d and here you can give again b so you entered 10 and 20 and 20 so this is how the uh, print function works it so you you should know these methods because these come come as very handy when you work with python right and thanks for watching i will uh, discuss more about in the next video regarding how you can accept multiple inputs in python so thank you guys i will see you in the next video